For you to have clicked on this video, it probably means one of these three things. One, either your WhatsApp account has been hacked. Two, a closely related personnel of your WhatsApp account has been hacked. And the final reason is probably because you just want to learn for the sake of the future. Well, no need to worry too much because I've got you and I'm here and I'm going to ensure that by the end of today's video, you're able to recover your WhatsApp account no matter the circumstance. And that's why on today's video, I'm going to make it even more practical by using two of my mobile devices. One is going to represent that of the hacker's phone and the second one is going to represent that of your own phone. So yeah, without wasting much more time, let's hop into the tutorial so I can show you guys how to recover your WhatsApp account no matter the circumstance. Okay, so this is my normal WhatsApp account. This is going to represent your normal WhatsApp account, okay, ideally. And this is that of the hackers, okay? So this is how the hacker is going to hack you. But the first thing you need to understand is how are they even hacking you? There are several ways they can actually hack you. But the two easiest of all is by calling you and then giving you fake news, probably from a WhatsApp group. That's actually the most popular ways they're actually using to, you know, hack people nowadays. Where they tell you you need to send them a code, they're going to send you a code and things like that. And then you end up giving them and then that's it or they actually you know have access to your particular device probably it's someone you know you trust or a friend close by or things like that and they actually you know the ones who are hacking you so that's why it's actually very very important to know who to trust yeah that's just life you just have to be careful of who to trust okay those are the two major and easiest ways they can actually hack you other ways could include you know you clicking on you know uh, random links sent you know by uh, uh, unrecognized individuals so that's why you have to be careful of what exactly you click on with your mobile device okay so let's proceed now in how in how to actually recover your account okay so now as you guys can see I'm gonna start with an account that do not have the two-way verification the two verification okay so I'm gonna show you guys so my device right now uh, it doesn't have the two-step verification okay so this is the hackers device okay so you have is going to click on agree and continue and then it's going to insert your number okay one five one six one seven two and then immediately clicks on next okay uh whatsapp is just going to ask another question and then it clicks on yes so immediately immediately you'll be sent the code okay you'll be sent the code and then unless unless they have the access to the code that's why they actually call you and then probably you end up giving them or there's someone who's actually close by around you and then they have access to your phone you don't know about it and then they use the opportunity to get the code all right so as you guys can see the code has been sent to me okay so it's actually very very much unusual for them to actually be able to access unless they get this code and i'm giving you guys the major ways to actually get this code so let's say the person actually gets the code at the end of the day 990 and then he enters the code 390 so immediately this person does this you know you'll be signed out as you guys can see on my mobile device they're going to be signed out okay and then on the person's device which is the hacker's device is going to continue and you know click on next and the rest but now this is where you need to be careful immediately you notice this on your account the very first thing you want to do is not to uninstall whatsapp or to go to settings and then clear storage and clear cache all those things what you want to do immediately is to click on verify okay you want to click on verify on your hacked you know the, the mobile device they hacked you and then you want to click on agree and continue you need to act very very fast it's very crucial in terms of hacking you need to act very fast okay and then once you do that you just want to verify your mobile device again once you click on that okay and then you want to click on yes okay now the hacker is actually you know um, playing around with stuff and things like that okay and then uh as you guys can see you recently connected uh please try again in one minute okay so now merely you request on your mobile device it's actually very unusual for you to you know receive the code at the first trial but what you want to do is to just wait a bit okay you want to wait for this one minute to be done okay just calm down you don't need to exit or anything don't panic okay you mustn't panic okay so let's just say the uh, other person is actually playing with your two-step you know, verification and things like that and the person already has the access to your mobile device like this okay the person has access and then like i said you just want to calm down just wait no need to rush no need to hurry no need to you know panic okay so the person is going to you know use the opportunity to start chatting with people looking at your chat and then the person might even decide to you know um you know go to your two-step verification if the person is actually a very smart hacker but let's just start with that of you know the hacker just hacks into your account okay so now as you guys can see it's almost one minute okay so now immediately it's one minute this is where you want to click on need help getting a code you just want to click on this that's all you need 
just click on need help getting the code and now instead of clicking resend code do not click resend code immediately you click on resend code they're going to send the code directly to the hackers in your account it's going to show on the hackers uh, whatsapp but that's what you want to avoid you want to ensure you click on send mss send sms or call me those are the two options you want to opt into okay send sms or call me all right so let's just go for send sms so immediately you click on send sms they're going to be sent the sms direct to your number as you guys can see okay once you click on it once you click on it and that's basically it that's the first step in case you didn't put your two-step verification now immediately you have the access back all you want to do is to just complete your settings okay you're just going to insert your name back okay you're going to insert your name back and then you want to hurry and go to your settings okay you want to hurry and go to your settings not now okay you rush to your settings and to your account and then you want to enable two-step verification it's very very important okay you want to enable this immediately you have the access okay so that's for the first step in case you didn't put you know a two-step verification now the second uh you know the second most critical uh situation is if the hacker hacks you and then the hacker puts the two-step verification how would you know this you would know this by you know after requesting the code and then you get the code and you know click on it and insert it just like what we did earlier on but now whatsapp asks you to insert two-step verification knowing fully well that you didn't put two-step verification okay i believe it's clear okay you didn't put two-step verification probably the time you're using to you know uh, get your account back okay that minutes that period the hacker was smart enough to go to your settings and then enable two-step verification in that case the only thing you can do to make things simple is by going to your email okay you want to send whatsapp a message okay you want to go to your email okay it's only whatsapp that can actually help uh, that's the best method to actually recover because two-step verification is actually very very critical okay so you want to go to your whatsapp and then you want to compose a mail and then you want to send it to support support at whatsapp okay support at whatsapp.com okay so you want to send exactly this is it so you want to send them a message hacked accounts hacked accounts and then in the composure you want to tell them my account got hacked at the exact time you're going to say probably 1 48 a.m and then you want to insert your email which is the email you're sending to them this is my email as well as your phone number please help me recover it okay so you just want to insert it this way okay so um, my email you can just say uh email let's say this is my email and then at gmail or uh, gmail.com and then you want to insert your numbers and right zero so this 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 is this, this is your number and then please help uh, my account my account got hacked okay so immediately send this message just expect uh, uh you know a feedback in like two to three days and then once you get the feedback trust me whatsapp is going to recover it for you those are the two critical and you know best solutions to you know you losing your account to hackers and i believe with all these you guys actually now understand how important two-step verification is in order to set up the two-step verification just go to your settings and then set it up okay it's very very easy and doesn't take much time and it's actually save you from a lot of all this so yeah guys that brings us to the end of today's video i believe you all learned a lot from today's video and in case you you know have someone actually experienced this or has been experiencing you know this type of hacking account issues you can as well share the video with them and also subscribe if you're new to my youtube channel and you believe you actually learned a lot from today's video and yeah guys also drop a like subscribe share and i'll see you all in my next highly informative video